Alright, so you're back here with Junkyard Off-Road. Uh, my last video was showing y'all sanding the roof of my Bronco. Um, something did occur to me. When I was in the Army, they had me peeling paint on an old Sherman tank. And uh, this was going on for about a week when I got in some trouble. Um, let's just say uh, I was the one that wasn't bleeding. So I ended up on extra duty. All y'all that are ex-military, y'all know what that is. I was on battalion level though, so I got to go up there and you know work every night till about midnight. And one of the things they had us doing was peeling paint off of a Sherman tank. And yeah, you know, I mean we was all over the outside of this thing, on the inside of it, peeling you know all this old, old, old you know World War II era crap off this thing. And I remember waking up one night, I couldn't breathe. It, it was something with those paint chips and this, you know, just that stuff just setting in my lungs. And luckily, you know, I was still in the barracks, so I got out, you know, into the hallway and they was able to get me to the hospital before I freaking died. But it was like every single breath I had a force to get. And the German, you know, hospital out there was really great. They got me hooked up and, you know, I got over it but oddly enough that's when i start my issue of not breathing at night so thank you u.s army good shout out to them uh get that good old screwing from them in the va hospital that says it's not our problem all you veterans know what that is but uh let's get back to this the whole paint thing because of that you kind of want to wear a mask if you notice i'm into my sander i did have a little uh catch to help you know catch a lot of that dust Protect your lungs, protect yourself. You know, you can handle this stuff being on your skin. It's not gonna hurt you unless you got really sensitive skin. But try and wear a mask or have something to help with that paint, you know, the paint chips or the dust. You don't want that in your lungs. You don't want it in your mouth. And try and avoid getting it in your eyes. But here we are. I'm gonna give you vi video of my roof now. And again, this is all on my cell phone. So, this is just uncut footage. And I know these videos are kind of horrible. But this is the roof of the 89 Ford Bronco. I am now on some of the Bronco Facebook pages. And hopefully this will help some of them guys out too. Figure out what they're doing. Try to get, you know, down past the black paint to something, you know, to the primer and stuff like that. But let me tell you, this stuff is extremely hard. If you look at right here and get you a close up, that right there is very, very thick paint. It's very thick. It's very hard. And I still didn't get all the cracks and stuff. I'm gonna just try and fill that in with some uh, sand, uh, what they call it, sand filler. And I'm gonna show you a video of all that stuff. And there's what I got. Try to avoid the chrome. So here is the roof. I just try to smooth it all out. Now the next stage is I kinda gotta get it cleaned off now. I've gotta run to town, so basically what I'm gonna do is see if I can blow it off going down the road. And then I'm gonna tape up all my chrome, all this right here. I'm going to tape all that up all the way around. I'm going to tape up right in here. And then you really want to protect this back here. See that? That's a seal. It's a little water seal. Mine is dry rotted. I'm going to get you footage of that. I've got my shadow in the way. But we want to tape all that up. You want to tape this up so that you don't spray that. Because this is fiberglass, you want a different type of paint on that. And we're going to go over that later too because as you can tell, I've got some actual particle showing right here. Let me see if I can smooth that out, get my phone out of the video for you. But we got to smooth all that out. I'm going to take all of this stuff here off my little cargo rack here. And as you can tell, I've already had some of it fly off. You know, start coming undone, bolts coming undone, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take all that off. And then what we'll do there is basically we're going to 
just tape up my windows really good right around here as well as I can with painters tape and then I'm going to go over it with a glue oh one other thing before you go <laughs> tape up this make sure you tape that up all the way around there tape up all that or take your top off top your bronco not your shirt but we're going to go over that with a glue and immediately after they have like a spray on glue immediately after doing the glue i'm going to go on with the white paint i'm going to change this to a white i believe it is that i got so this here is today's project and hopefully i will be able to do my hub too so stay tuned again this is an 89 ford bronco eddie bauer it's pretty much stock and custom and again this is junkyard off-road please hit the share like you know subscribe to us it should be somewhere over there i guess or up there if you're on your phone uh help us out oh no on the phone it's down there but help us out you know i'm trying to get a following here trying you know get some actual videos out i'm a ford guy i love my fords I love my Broncos because to me it's one of you know best off-road vehicles there are. So I'm going to try and you know in the future we're, we're going to be slowly building this thing up, setting it up. This has got the 302 under the hood, so we'll see what all we can do with this. And I hope this video and our future videos help y'all out a lot. Thank you. And again, this here is Junkyard Off-Road.